Hey, so interest rates have been a huge topic with people lately. Every time a buyer calls me, they're like, well, what are interest rates? What, what are they at now? What do you think I can lock my interest rate in at? So they're not at the 2% range anymore that they were during, during COVID. Um, they are higher now. We're seeing um, typically in the five range for most people right now, but that's still a good rate. So I bought my bigger house that I'm in right now um, in 2018 before I had my daughter. We were needing a bigger house and we bought a foreclosure and we kind of had a nightmare deal happen where there was a title issue on the house. And so we went under contract on the house right around 4th of July um, of 2018. And we bought the house for the purchase price. We didn't negotiate at all. Um, and we got an interest rate of 3.25. We were locked in. My sister is our mortgage lender. Everything was great. But then the title company calls and they're like, there is a title issue. There was a chain of title issue. And out of 11 years of doing this, I never ran into a chain of title issue, but it was a major thing because it was a foreclosure and the sellers had both passed away. And so they had um, a lot of work to clear up to make sure that I could have clear title and close on that house with my husband. So in that span of 22 weeks from July until right after Thanksgiving, when we were finally able to close, interest rates had went up from a 3.25 to a 5.25. And we weren't sure if we were ever actually gonna be able to close on this house, if we were gonna to have to just go buy something else, what we were gonna to have to do. And so instead of buying the rate down and, and doing a rate lock, we just kind of rolled the dice and waited to see what would happen. And so we didn't do that. And we ended up getting stuck with a 5.25. And that was on a 30 year fix at the time. And that had changed our monthly payment by $200. You know, we could still afford the house. It was just like, you know, affordability went down and, and it changed a little bit for us. You know, it is spent $200 was going towards our mortgage and towards the um, interest rate on the house instead of going, you know, back in our pocket that we could invest with. So that kind of sucked. Luckily, interest rates did go down when we, um, later on, a couple years later during COVID, and we were able to refinance to a much lower rate. But what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, in 2018, when I bought my house, interest rates were at 5.25, and that was still at a good rate. Um, it just wasn't a crazy good rate, like 2%. But by buying a house, you're locking in your rate, and you're being able to control inflation a little bit, and you're being able to have a locked-in payment. So that's very important for most people.